welcome back to my amazing beautiful wonderful subscribers and viewers today we are going to talk about ways to spend time alone with yourself because some of these can be kind of we don't really think of them or we don't really want to do them because we might fear what others may say or judge us but at the end of the day this is what you got to do All right, so I'm just gonna give you a bunch of different tips to spend time alone with yourself, get to know yourself, get to love yourself, and you just kinda gotta get over the stigma of being alone is like weird, or that we should always be around other people, or that being alone means we're antisocial. A lot of these kind of negative stigmas that I've heard over the years of people who like to be alone, it's actually really important to be alone, even whether you're talking about introvert stuff or extroverts, like it's always good to drown out like the outside, to spend time alone with yourself, get to know yourself. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do that because just sitting inside watching TV is not really getting to know yourself. You're just alone, entertained watching TV. But it's important that you actually figure out who you are. Go for a walk alone. Now this is one of those that I was kind of referring to that people may judge you for walking alone. Some people think that people who walk alone are weird, outcasts, antisocial, whatever it may be, and that's not the case at all. Walking alone is kind of freeing, you know? You don't really need to talk to anybody. You're just kind of there with your thoughts, looking around at nature, loving life, maybe seeing how fast you can walk, maybe seeing how far you can walk, how many steps you can get. If you're somebody who needs to do something, then going for a walk is actually really healthy, really important for your mental health, for your physical health. So I implore you to do that, whether it be alone or with somebody, don't be afraid to go for a walk. Paint your nails. Painting your nails can actually kind of be a hassle. I used to paint my nails, now I get mine done, thankfully, because when I used to paint them, literally, it would take hours for it to dry, and I never understood why. It's like it was dry, but then it's not completely dry because I would scrape it on something or do something and it would ruin it. And I'm like, why the hell is my nail polish taking hours to dry? And maybe I was applying it incorrectly, but you know, I waited the five, 10 minutes to put a second coat on. So I don't know, that's just a little tangent I'm going on, but painting your nails is always fun. It's always fun to do a manicure, a pedicure, and it's always good to look good, feel good, have your nails done and, and present an image of you, somebody who's put together, who cares about their self-care. This one is actually really fun. Try a new recipe, try cooking. If you don't like to cook, try cooking. It can take a while and you need to have patience sometimes, but cooking is so fun because it's kind of one of those things that you may follow a recipe and it may not turn out, or you may be doing something without a recipe and it does turn out and you're really excited, you're really happy, you put in all this time and effort, thought about you know what ingredients to put in, you waited for it to cook and it turned out really delicious and you're excited about it. And it's a new skill that you may want to get into because cooking is something that to me like never goes out of style. You know, I've been asked by people, oh, do you know how to cook? And I'm like, what does cooking mean? Like without a recipe, if it's without a recipe, then no, not really. <laughs> but if it's with a recipe, then yeah, I can cook. I like to cook. It's fun every now and again. And in the future, I look forward to cooking for myself because you have control over what you're eating. You have control over the ingredients. And especially if you're somebody who's trying to watch their weight. Cooking for yourself is the best way to do that because you're the only one who knows what the actual ingredients are in the food instead of, you know, all this preservative and store-bought crap that I don't even know half of the ingredients that are listed on there. Read a book. 
I have just gotten into reading books and I feel like it's the new trend. <laughs> Thanks to Emma Chamberlain. No, but seriously, I've been reading books for probably five or six months because I was just bored and I was reading into how bad looking at your screen is all day and looking at blue light and technology. You know, if I'm not on my phone, I'm watching TV. And if I'm not watching TV, I'm on my phone, you know? <laughs> so it's like just a cycle that we're always on technology. We're always watching something, entertaining ourselves, but it's time to, you know, get rid of that at least for an hour or however long you can or you want to. Just read a book, let your imagination flow, let you know, everything kind of be forgotten about what's going on with your life and, and you can just delve into this new world, this new reality. And it's a great way to increase your vocabulary, your grammar knowledge, another language. Like books are amazing. Please go buy a book and watch how your life will change, your mentality will change, even how you interact with people. Because people who read books, I feel like, well, at least for me, I kind of don't care about, you know, the bullshit that goes on in other people's lives. You just get consumed by a book sometimes and you kind of just only care about what's happening in the book. Is it gonna end? What's gonna happen at the ending? What What is this character gonna do next? Like, it's so amazing sometimes how enveloped you are in this world that you're reading. Next, take a long bath. I can't believe how underrated baths are. I mean, I love showers too, don't get me wrong, but there's something so nice about being in a bath and just laying down in the warm water. And even if you have like a jacuzzi tub, oh my God, when I'm older, like I need a jacuzzi tub because I just need to be able to feel like I'm in a jacuzzi, feel like I'm relaxing. Like it's so amazing what a bath can do for you because it's just so relaxing. You know, you can sip your margarita, you can sip your wine, you can read, you can watch a show all while laying in warm water, soapy water, cleaning yourself and and just kind of take you to a new world. Write in a journal. Journaling has been so important for me to help with my depression, anxiety, insecurities. And it's a good way to kind of look back on your life too and figure out what was I thinking, you know, five, four, three, ten years ago, what was going on in my life. and. So I kind of like to journal about what I'm doing physically, how I am mentally, as well as some events that happened that day so I can look back later in life and see, you know, where I was because believe it or not, life changes a lot, even though in the moment it doesn't feel like it. In, you know, one, two, three years, because of certain little changes that happen along the way, your life is gonna be completely different because of these little changes that you really didn't notice or care about until you look back and be like, damn, this was my life and this is where I'm at. And you could be thankful. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be a worse situation, who knows. But um, at least you'll have the ability to look back and figure out what went right, what went wrong, how you helped yourself, how you improved yourself. Like that's also important. So journal, journal, journal. Get to know yourself by journaling. Watch an inspiring video like this one. No, but really watch an inspiring video like TED Talks. I literally can get lost in TED Talks because there's so many brilliant people out there. There's so many experiences that people are willing to share information that they want to share and spread and they want to inform people. They want to connect with people. And it's really important that you figure out like what kind of information is out there. What can I learn from other people that I can implement in my own life? And TED Talks are just so engaging and there's so many of them that I can get lost and literally watch, listen to TED Talks the whole day. They hit the spot. Meditate, this one I talk a lot about on this channel and I've mentioned it through many other videos that you can take a look back at too. So I won't go too much into meditating, but just calming your mind, getting in the moment, living it. And that's something that I've been struggling with and I have not been meditating lately, but I need to, I need to really Pick a schedule, like make a schedule for me and stick to it. Experiment with makeup. This one is so important because 
There's so many different looks and styles out there that suit everybody in different ways. And you need to realize what looks good on you and stay in that lane because some people who try to get out of their lane and wear other stuff or weird stuff, different styles, and it doesn't look good on them. And when you look back at history and you think of fashion icons, a lot of these people have kind of classic timeless styles. They have good hem work they have good sewing they have a good silhouette like they know their body shape they know what looks good on them and that's it's just a trial and error having clothes that suit you and just fall and just outline your body perfectly ooh, so underrated so underrated just trying out different makeup trying out different clothes and seeing what looks good on you because what looks good on somebody doesn't look good on everybody lastly maybe to spend time alone with yourself you should explore your neighborhood explore your city see what's out there whether it be just looking it up online looking at videos or actually going out there and seeing for yourself what's there because there's so many restaurants activities sites that you're kind of missing out on because you're inside all day or you're not socializing or you're not really into nature or outside and that's fine but there's actually a lot out there to do and you don't really know unless you you actually put in the work to see what's out there there are a lot of hidden gems in this world okay i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you next time